Fast in the morning. On Wild 101. Every morning, 6.30 and 8.30, we celebrate our listeners' birthdays by pranking them. Yeah. Uh, if you got somebody you'd like to see featured, uh, feel free to hit fastinthemorning.com. A uh, little form there, actually, uh, right at the top, it says birthday spank. Yes. Fill that out real quick, and, and we'll make it happen. So today, we're calling Steve in Boise. He's uh, He set up a, a Zoom meeting call, one of those things. Yes. With a former student at his school uh-huh. that he's never met. But that he's heard is off doing great things, as well as all of his students this year, to get him fired up for classes. Yeah. What, what are you going to be? Is it an inf- influencer? Oh, yeah. I'm going to be a wannabe influencer. Obviously, very important. Oh, yeah. And very successful. I think so. Hello? Hi, is this Mr. This is Mr. Hi, Mr. Steve. Oh, okay. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Steve. Yeah, it's Miley. Um, I know that we've been emailing, but I just wanted to connect with you before today's Zoom call. Um, yeah. Like, get ready for my motivational speech. I just wanted to know if there's any specific topics you want me to cover, anything like that. Um, just wanted to check well, in. Well, we're so, yeah, we're so excited to have you joining us. I mean, um, it's going to be a difficult year, uh, totally. obviously, with everything going on. But having a former student like yourself, to, to pump the students up, I think it's going to be great. So I, I'm I'm open to your ideas, really. Oh, I'm super excited to give back and like share my experiences, like just to help the younger generation and what's to come for them. So, I mean, I think that my time there really laid the groundwork, like paved the way for me to become the successful influencer that I am today. I'm sorry, you're, you're, so you're an influencer? Yeah. What, what, oh, oh what exactly do you do? Yeah, I... Uh, Sorry, I thought you knew. I thought like when we connected, you like had an idea of who I was, but I'm like up to like 250 followers on Instagram at this point. I just started on TikTok. So I'm like just getting used to like the whole platform, but it might be going away anyways. So I'm just kind of like, is that something I really want to pursue? Like I've made like two or three YouTube videos, like tutorials, like makeup and stuff like that. And it's really not like as easy as anybody thinks. Like you have to film and then you have to like upload. You know what I mean? Like, it's not just like, it just happens. You have to like put effort into it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so this is like your job. It's 24-7. Um, I mean, I, sure. I mean, we, you know, try to actually discourage cell phone use. Oh, right, the right, kids right. Are on their yeah, phones it's cool, all the time. Course, so I'm not really sure we want to be encouraging them to, to do more of that. Oh my gosh. Um, okay. Well, listen to this idea. So what if I'm like encouraging them to just like use their mind, like the mental pictures in their brain to like map out like, like a pose for a picture. Like you can like practice your poses inside your mind like that's like using your creative thinking to think ahead for a future post so you're not even on your phone but you're using like your brain you have to be like proactive problem solving like oh my gosh wait like if I pose like that like maybe my butt wouldn't look as big and maybe I want it to look bigger um yeah I don't think that's really what we're going to be wanting the message to be to the kids is there anything else to talk about in your life other than like Instagram Um, and TikTok and YouTube Well, I mean, okay, so like this is my passion and I think we really need to teach the youth of today to follow their passion because what else is there if not your happiness and your joy? Yeah, I I think it's great for kids to follow their passion, but I think also, you know, I think um, it'd be better if we we found something else you could do. Maybe you could just even talk about your time at middle school and how, how much that impacted your life and maybe something like that. Maybe we'll go down that road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'll talk about like my time, like how popular I was at the time and how that really shaped who no. I was, you know. No, Miley, I, I, I don't think we want to be encouraging the kids to try to seek popularity or seek more followers or... Okay, that's kind of yeah, like yeah. that not the right message. So more you know? just like, They're very impressionable. Yeah, more just like be yourself, even if like you're just not like as popular, like still just like embracing who you are. So stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you can okay. frame more positively okay. than that. Right, right, right. But, um, I can, yeah, I can maybe, put myself in that mindset. I, I, I totally can. Like I, I, I'm going to okay. pursue acting at some point, so I can okay. totally do that. Yeah, let me just think about it for a little while. Great, great. Well, you know, we'll try to keep it really short. Okay. Um, I'm thinking maybe a minute, uh, maybe even shorter. Okay. Just to, again, it's yeah. really just kind of a quick. Uh, this person used to come to the school, and she's really excited to get you guys pumped up for this kind of bizarre school year. And yeah, we'll keep it really short. 
really, really short. Totally. Okay, cool. Well, let your wife know that I'm super excited to have had this opportunity to speak with you. And I hope you have a happy birthday. <laughs> wow. Miley. Wait, what? Steve, is it your birthday? <laughs> Yes. This is Nathan and Rebecca from Fast in the Morning. <laughs> your wife, oh your wife set God. you up. It's it's a wild one one birthday special. Oh my goodness! I was like, who is this cursed, <laughs> this bizarre monster? You don't know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, and Miley, I was like two hundred fifty followers. What That's a, nothing. What a bad loser. <laughs> Oh my god! No, and for the record, wow. I was not popular back in the day. So. <laughs> I mean, who is in middle school? Right, like middle school, horrible for everyone. Seriously, yeah. oh my god! Well, we hope you have a great oh, birthday. Wow, that was good. Hope you have a great first day of classes, man. Thank you, thank you. It's and a very strange year, but yeah, and I hopefully your speaker is a. <laughs> Not as weird as I was. Yeah, that would be a lot. Fast. Like when you hit snooze 22 times and now have three minutes to leave the house. It's fast in the morning on Wild 101.